Hey everybody, it's Comphelp. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to go over a Photoshop effect that I like to call the magic effect. Okay, it makes, you know, it's just a nice looking effect. <laughs> I did not find this out myself. I found it in a blog and I thought it'd be a nice share. The link to the blog will be in the description of this video. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into Photoshop. And this is the effect that you're going to make. Alright, you're going to totally make it your own with these own brush strokes, your own font and whatever okay so the first thing thing you need to do is go to file and go to new next you want to make your canvas at 500 by 500 pixels and click OK now make sure your background is black if it's not black go to the layers panel select that background layer and go to edit fill use black okay simple enough so far next you want to create a new layer by going here to the layers panel and clicking this icon right there alright next what you need to do is go over to your brush tool S in here up here in the options you want to select this arrow to bring it down by the way this is an Adobe Photoshop CS3 sorry if it's kinda late for me to say this please tell me if this works in Adobe Photoshop CS4 okay alright so anyway in your brush panel I guess or brush properties I don't know what you want to call it select one of these like fade looking icons I like to select 300 and just change it to 500 okay so the size that you select isn't gonna matter just make sure it's one of these fade effects and now what you need to do is go down here to the foreground color and make it like this pinkish color pinkish slash purple color and click OK now somewhere here on the middle of the canvas just go ahead and you know press the dot I'm gonna redo that actually there we go. Probably looks the same, I don't know. Okay, so that's that. Now what you need to do is in the layers panel, right click that layer you just made and go to blending options. Alright, next you want to do is go to click gradient overlay. Click right there that tab. And you want to double click or just click that gradient icon there or bar. And you want to double click this black thing here and select that uh, color again, all right? That pinkish slash purple color. Slash. <laughs> Can't say that word, I guess. Now, double click the white icon, and you want to make it like a blue color, a light, light, light blue color. Click OK. All right. Just want to click OK here and OK here. Sweet. So that is what you have so far. That's looking pretty nice. Now, what you want to do is create another layer. So you have three layers, background, layer one, and layer two so far. Alright. On layer two, you actually want to make a cloud effect. So you go to filter and you go to render clouds. Okay. Now select layer two and right here where it says normal, what you want to do is go to overlay. Alright, and you should make an effect that looks something like this. It'll look like the clouds, but in the blue and pink slash purple colors. Alright? Next, what you need to do is make another layer, and in this layer, you're going to have your brush strokes. Okay, so select your brush tool, go up here to the properties again, and make sure you select one of these, you know, fade effects again, in case you accidentally selected a wrong one. Okay, and you want to make the foreground color white. Okay, simple enough, right? Now, hold down on this icon, right, and you know, while still holding down, let go on the pen tool. There you go. Now it's important to use these settings. Go over here to the freeform pen tool and select what is this paths and make sure exclude overlapping path areas is also selected. Now you want to go ahead and make your magic brush strokes, you know. Make it make some strokes kind of wavy. Okay, these probably aren't the best ones, but you know, you get the point. You know, I, I bet you can do it better than I can. All right, so that's what you have so far. Now what you need to do is go down here to this like arrow-looking thing. Make sure it's on Direct Selection Tool. Select all of these lines here, and you're gonna right-click, go to Stroke Path. Make sure it's set to Brush and Stimulate the Pressure. Okay, so Brush and Stimulate Pressure and press OK. All right. Now what you need to do is get rid of like these outlined 
lines here and select the or on your keyboard press the delete button not the backspace button but the delete key so there you go that's what you have right now now what you need to do is go ahead and make another layer All right this is layer four and you're gonna want to go in your brush right but this is where we're gonna use the window up here go to window and go to brushes or you can press F5 doesn't matter and you're gonna want to select the scattering button here okay and I like to actually you know what let me see yeah select scattering and go to as much percent as you can you know thousand percent is pretty good count you know make it as less as you can count jitter doesn't matter right there okay let me see control we want to fade these or oh, no no pen pressure there we go that should be it pen pressure see both axis all right now what we need to do is go ahead and make our brush size to five okay and now we're gonna go over all of the brush things that we made you know what these are probably kinda big so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open my window go to history and I'm gonna take back that tool I'm gonna go back to the brushes and hmm I'll set it to like right there. So I guess that's like 0.5. No. Okay, set it to 1. There we go. So, I set it to about 521%. Set my count to 1. Count jitter 0%. Control off. Pen pressure. Make sure that's on. And what you're going to do is just outline all of these lines that you did, okay? And you can see that I'm still on my layer 4. Sorry if that moved. Okay, just you know, outline the best you can. Like I said, I mean I'm not the best here. My hands are not the steadiest, so I'm pretty sure you can do a better job at this. All right, so th you have that so far. It looks pretty good. Go to your layer three, right click and go to blending options. And what you want to do is go ahead and select the outer glow and you're gonna want to go to blend mode and go to color dodge alright that's color dodge and you're gonna click OK now you're gonna right click layer 3 and go to copy layer style right click layer 4 and paste the layer style so now you have your magical sparkles alright now we're gonna create another layer and we're gonna make this a text Okay, or actually, yeah, make this a text. I have a font called Brie Light, B R I E L I G H T. Go ahead, search it on the internet if you want. I'm not sure where I found it. I I totally forgot. Okay, and yeah, click the check button. Oh, by the way, my let me see what what size is my text at. My text is at a 100 sized font. Okay, I'm going to check it. Go ahead and move it where I want it. I want it about right there. And I'm going to right click this and go to paste layer style. So there you go. Now you have your layer or your magic looking stuff. Let's say you want to save your project here. Go to file and save as. You can save it as whatever you want. You know, JPEG, a PNG. That's why I, rec I recommend a JPEG or a PNG save. So, yeah. So, thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if it's too long. Probably came out to like 10 minutes. It's, yeah, about 10 minutes. Thank you for watching this video. You know, sorry it took so long, but I just think I had to go through it thoroughly. And if anything, I still think I went too fast through it. So, if you have to, rewind, you know, scroll through the video, whatever you need. And, uh, 
Yeah, you saw everything worked for me. It should work for you. Adobe Photoshop CS4. People, please comment if it worked. All right, a couple links I want to share with you. Check out my website, comphelp.com, which will be in the description. Check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash comphelp. That will also be in the description. All links will be in the description. Check out how to make money online, like I do. I make money online by going to detailsformoney.tk. And also, don't forget to check out my friend's website. He actually made a vlog website called letsvlog.com. I'll post that in the link. And don't forget, the blog that I found this effect on will also be in the description. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share this video, whatever. And uh, yeah, I hope you can be a regular viewer of mine. Thanks. Bye.